literally perfect bro i i don't even know what else you could ask for from this software it's actually like the fact that it's free and unlimited genuinely is mind-blowing Google has released their AI voice generator and it is most definitely going to dethrone 11 labs on a long enough time frame. Now to demonstrate this, I've broken this video up into three separate parts. The first part is that I'm going to be walking you through and holding your hand how to use the platform and exactly all the things you need to do to make sure that you're getting the most out of it. The second thing and probably the funner thing that a lot of you guys want to see is we're going to be comparing, directly comparing a sentence between 11 labs and also Google's AI voice generator to see which sounds the best. And then finally, the third and final part, my favorite part is going to be that we're going to run Google's AI voice voice generator through a series of four different tests that are designed to push the AI to its limits to really see how realistic this thing is. Now, if you don't already know, one of the biggest advantages and why I see Google's AI voice generator doing so much better than 11 Labs is the fact that it's completely free and unlimited. And obviously, if you guys have been in the AI space for long enough, you'd know that 11 Labs has had a monopoly on the voice generation space for probably coming up on two years now. But obviously, because of that, they're able to charge whatever money that they want to charge. And it's obviously not that expensive, but they're generating tons of money money and creators are spending tons of money because there's no other alternative until now. And the reason why this is so insanely groundbreaking is that you can use Google's free AI voice generator to do a bunch of different things that'll generate you money. So for example, you might do faceless automation channels, you might do freelancing services, you might generate audiobooks, you might generate podcasts, you could even do affiliate marketing with AI voices. So all of these things are not brand new ideas that I've come up with. People have already started generating money with them using 11 Labs. The only difference is now you can use a free and unlimited software like Google's AI voice generator. So let's get into part one of the video where I hold your hand and walk you through how to use the platform to maximize what it can do. Now, first thing I want to get you guys to do is obviously head on over to Google AI Studio. If you don't know how to get here, literally just go to Google and type in Google AI Studio and you'll be taken to this homepage interface where, that you can see right now on my screen. Now from here, we're not yet into the AI voice generation part of Google AI Studio. Um, what you want to do is when you want to click this button right here that says native speech generation. And once you click that, now we'll officially be in the AI voice generation section. Now for whatever reason, when you do click that it basically defaults to sending you to the podcast mode or the multi-speaker version what we pretty much want to do or the majority of you guys will want to do is click on this button that says single speaker audio and this is where you get to the the home base of what you can do with this software so as you can see they've set it up really simply here it's pretty much impossible for you to it up um, as you can see we're going to we're just going to go through one by one and speed run this to show you guys what each button does and all that so as you can see it says style instructions right here this is pretty much where you say you want it to be a funny tone you want it to be a sad tone you want it to be a happy tone you want it to be angry tone or whatever, whatever the case may be it's where you describe the way you want the text to be read out and then obviously just beneath that start writing or paste text here to generate speech this is the exact words that the ai software will be you know generating now aside from that something that's really really important for you guys to keep in mind is that over here will be the version of Gemini that you'll be using and pretty much always if you're watching this like three months from now six months from now there'll be different versions that, than the versions you're seeing on my screen right now but generally speaking it's good practice to pretty much just go with the higher number okay to put it simply if if you're watching this and Gemini 3 is out you pretty much just want to click Gemini 3 but because I'm you know creating this right now and it's Gemini 2.5 Pro that's the one we'll be using for this video then just beneath that you have the option to switch between single speaker audio and multi-speaker audio which is the section we just came from where it's like the podcast section just beneath that there is also another like hidden setting i guess right here where it says model settings and this if you've spent time on 11 labs it's very similar you can think of it like the creativity slider generally speaking you pretty much always want to keep it on one trust me i've done the testing for you if you haven't used this stuff just keep it on one okay if you have it on zero or closer to zero it's basically just going to be completely robotic without really any emotion and if you have it up to two it'll it'll do some demonic shit it'll start you know doing some spazzing out and doing some crazy shit so generally just keep it on one and then the last thing obviously is going to be the voice that you select now it has a decent selection here but one thing i will say is that obviously 11 labs has way more of a selection to choose from but that being said i'm sure that google's obviously going to introduce new voices this is still relatively new so it hasn't had time to really catch up to 11 labs and another good touch as well is that instead of having to generate you know audio with each one of these voices you can kind of get an idea for how they sound with these little uh, descriptions just beneath uh, the voice or the name of the voice now those are the main settings apart from now we've got a couple you know bits and pieces up here for example you've got this button that copies the prompt your clipboard and i do think it's really good practice guys if you're going to be using this consistently to have kind of like a prompt library you keep it on like notion or OneNote, or even just on a word document whatever and just copy the prompts that you like so you can reiterate on it
on it later on so that's just i wanted to mention that over here you've got get sdk code to generate speech honestly i got no clue what that is probably some nerd shit i've never used it so whatever um this is obviously if you just want to clear the chat and then over here you've got a button where if you don't like the settings you've used and you just want to you know start from scratch again you can just reset back to default settings um you've got this if you want to get rid of the toolbar and then this is to oh wait that's to get rid of the toolbar and then this is to get rid of the toolbar as well i guess so two buttons do the same thing whatever and then really quick just because i want to make sure we're touching on literally every aspect of the platform i will go into the multi-speaker audio um, and as you can see right here it's basically the exact same things that we just went through but it's now applied to two different speakers so as you can see right here you've got speaker one settings which is uh color coded in yellow and you can change the name if maybe if you're running a fake podcast you have jeff as speaker one and then uh tony as speaker two and then you change the voice it's the exact same voice selection that we had in the previous interface but now you can obviously select two over here you've got the temperature setting exactly the same um, you've got the toggle exactly the same you've got the version exactly the same and over here the one thing that i will mention is that the the style instructions you can't apply different styles to different speakers so for example if you want speaker one to be sad and then speaker two to be happy there's no way to you know make them both have different emotions for example it's kind of just one style instruction applies to both speakers and so let's say for example we were generating a quick podcast clip that we wanted to upload on shorts to go viral and you know take over the world we would say speaker one says this speaker two says this and then if we want to extend from that we'd go add dialogue speaker one add dialogue speaker two and so on and so forth all right so i'm not gonna lie that was low-key probably one of the best google ai voice generation walkthroughs there is available on the internet but now we're moving on to part two which is going to be comparing the google ai voice generator to 11 labs all right guys so as you can see i've logged into 11 labs right here and i do want to mention a few things before i generate well, I'm, i technically you can already see i've generated it but before i actually show you guys what it sounds like um i do want to say in, in case you guys think that i've intentionally generated some voice using 11 labs so i can show the difference as you can see right here we're using james voice in it's 11 labs v3 which is obviously the best model by far on top of that the text that we're generating here is the default text that was within 11 labs so i'm assuming they intentionally select that text because they know that it sounds good but long story short i basically wanted to give 11 labs as much of the benefit of the doubt as possible so you guys can't say oh you're intentionally using a bad voice or whatever whatever no this is literally all the best settings all the best everything you can have and we're going to compare it to a free software and even more to that point we've actually got two generations right here so you guys can think in your mind what the best one was and compare that to the google ai voice uh, generator so anyway as you can see the prompt that we've got right here is in the ancient land of eldorio where the skies were painted with shades of mystic hues and the forest whispers secrets of old there existed a dragon named zephyros that's, that's pretty sick so let's hear what generation one sounds like in the ancient land of eldoria where the skies were painted with shades of mystic hues and the forests whispered secrets of old, there existed a dragon named Zephyros. Okay, that's generation one, here's generation two. In the ancient land of Eldoria, where the skies were painted with shades of mystic hues and the forests whispered secrets of old, there existed a dragon named Zephyros. Okay, generation two is definitely better than generation one right there. So we're going to keep generation two right there on the back burner and we're going to head back on over to the Google AI Studio so we can generate our own rendition using Google's voice generator. All right, so what we're going to do very simply, we're just going to highlight that copy and then go over here and paste it and it the default style instructions is read aloud in a warm and friendly tone i think that pretty much suits what we're going for right here this almost sounds like a like a novel or a storybook or something so that's pretty much it uh the voice that we're going to use i have had a little bit of experience with this so i'm going to use this saddle tagger no wow that plane is sounds like it's flying right outside my window hope you guys like planes but um yeah let's click generate right here now gemini does take a little bit longer i'm not gemini I mean, I guess technically it's Gemini. Google's AI voice generator does take a little bit longer to generate than 11 Labs, so that is an advantage that 11 Labs does have. All right, guys, as you can see in the bottom, it's finished generating right there. Now, what we're going to do, just to refresh you guys' mind, is we're going to play back to back without me talking in between them. I'm just going to play the best generation right here from 11 Labs, and then go back and play the generation from Google's voice generator. In the ancient land of Eldoria, where the skies were painted with shades of mystic hues and the forests whispered secrets of old, there existed a dragon named Zephyros. In the ancient land of Eldoria, where the skies were painted with shades of mystic hues and the forests whispered secrets of old, there existed a dragon named Zephyros. I I'm genuinely not gonna lie, I literally liked the Google AI Studio version better than the 11 Labs one, and that's using 11 Labs V3. It's actually 
fucking insane. To me, just the expression and the natural emotion and the intonations and the little, the, you know, the little details in it literally just sound bit better in the Google version. Now, at this point, guys, I could realistically show you guys a hundred more examples comparing Eleven Labs to um, Google's AI voice generator. But what I really want to do, and probably the best part of the video to me, is the fact that we're moving on to part three now, which is going to be limit testing the AI and showing you guys real life circumstances that you know you could use this for in order to get money, in order to do whatever you want to do using Google's voice generator. So the first example that we're going to be doing is basically whispering in like an ASMR style. If you guys don't know what ASMR is, just search it up. It's a ma actually a massive subset of the YouTube, you know, like it's a massive category within YouTube basically. Um, so let's say right here. And by the way, guys, the reason why this is so sick is because historically if you mess around with ai voice generators you know the wisp it's always all of the voice generators not even just 11 lab, 11 labs haven't been the best when it comes to whispering okay um so what we're going to do we'll, we might even just write it as a whisper right there and we're going to say honestly let's just keep it as that let's just keep the sentence the same and say style instructions let's say a quiet whisper and let's see if it's able to do this so let's just click run and let's see. All right, guys, as you can see, it has finished generating here. So let's listen to it. In the ancient land of Eldoria, where the skies were painted with shades of mystic hues and the forests whispered secrets of old, there exists. So as you guys can imagine, if you're familiar with ASMR, you could quite easily make some kind of AI ASMR channels, it's hard to say. Um, and then you could use Gemini, ChatGPT, whatever, just create a storybook, a short storybook, and then get Google's voice generator to read it out in a whisper and simply upload videos like that, 10 videos a day you could do. But I do want to say, although that was a whisper, some of it kind of like, it was kind of like more soft-spoken than whisper. So what I do want to see right here is if we use a different voice, if it's actually going to be able, be able to achieve a better whisper and i do think there was one that i've used in the past i mean let's try zephyr yeah i'm just trying zephyr because it's similar to the dragon's name somehow that's quite the coincidence all right so the generation with the zephyr voice has just finished let's hear it out in the end. bang see that is just Gloria, where the skies were painted with shades of mystic hues and the forests whispered secrets of all guys Listen, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, dude, I don't want to do a backflip on my chair right now, but listen, uh, guys, I'm, I'm looking directly in your eyes. I need one of you guys to just experiment, start an ASMR channel, okay? Generate some storybook script using Gemini, and then generate the, the voiceover using Gemini, and then put whatever background visuals you want, but I'm telling you, this is actually insane. So example number one was an ASMR channel using Acquired Whisper, but now we're going to move on to something a lot of you guys might be more familiar with, which is an audiobook. So I've got this prompt set up right here i'm just going to copy that we're going to get rid of our trusty prompt right here with a new one and we're going to say she looked at the old photograph a single tear tracing a path through the dust on the glass all that was left were the memories or were memories so we're obviously not going to use a quiet whisper what we're going to say instead is let's say a sad and melancholy narration all right now let's see if it's able to nail the emotion of kind of because it's an audiobook you have to keep in mind that's what the purpose of this is for let's see if it's able to capture that emotion all right guys i realized i was do doing the generation with zephyr again and i wanted to use a different one to show you guys some variation so we're using <laughs> dude we're using vin vindamia tricks she looked at the old photograph a single tear tracing a path through the dust on the glass all that was left were memories Okay, I'll be honest, I don't really like that one. Let, let's go to someone who's more like lower pitch. So let's mm, lively lower pitch. Well, lively doesn't really make sense because it's meant to be sad. Let's do, let's do solo fat, okay? Warm and middle pitch. She looked at the old photograph, a single tear tracing a path through the dust on the glass. All that was left were memories. All right, I think that was probably the best one I've shown so far. Obviously, guys, you can go through. I think for this case, maybe a male voice would probably sound better. Like my, my boy Saddle Tagger probably would have been a better one for this. But you guys understand the point. You can basically use these as a narrator for whatever audio book that you want to make. All right, now the third example we're going to use is even funnier. It's going to be a sales script. Obviously, some of you guys might be familiar with like VSLs or just advertisement in general that utilize a sales script of some, some form. So we're going to be using, let me get my prompt right here going to be using this copy and paste let me get 
Uh, are you tired of struggling of trying everything of getting nowhere? Wait, before you click away, what if I told you there was a better way? So that, that might be something that you see at the start of like a YouTube video, like an advertisement that plays and you can't skip it. I hate them ones. So let's do this right here. Let's say, let's say, read this in a dramatic, convincing, mm, let's say, advertisement voice. <laughs> That's probably not the best style instructions that you could ask for, but let's go ahead and let's use, let's go back to Saddle Tagger. My, my boy, Mr. Knowledgeable here. And let's see what happens. Are you tired of struggling, of trying everything and getting nowhere? Wait. Before you click away, what if I told you there was a- Okay, that, li that literally exactly nailed the, the style instructions that we gave. A dramatic, convincing advertisement voice that I don't think you could ask for a better one. So we're going to move on to the next example because I think we pretty much nailed it right there. All right, so at this point, we've done an example for an ASMR channel. We've done an example for an audio book and we've done an example for a sales script. Now, the fourth and final example we're going to do is actually a movie trailer, but I do not have a prompt yet set up, so it's probably even better for you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to actually create something if you don't yet have text that you want to, you know, be narrated. So you just click the logo in the top left hand corner and you're going to be taken over to Google's LLM, which is obviously Gemini 2.5 Pro as of right now. And we're just going to say, um, create a short narration script for a, a movie trailer, only include the text script and nothing else and hopefully it should give me a script that we can use and by the way guys when i talked about the asmr channel earlier this is exactly the same process that you would go through by the way of generating something so let's see right here um in a world where what we're going to do is we're just going to copy all of this and we're just going to paste this right here um we're going to get rid of the music obviously because um, I mean, I don't think Google's AI voice generators are going to be able to generate music like that. You could use Suno though if you wanted to actually generate music. We're going to just do this. I probably could have, could have made that prompt better, I'm not going to lie. Let's actually remove all this narration. Let's do that. Um, and that, that should be fine. Although the formatting probably isn't the best for Gemini to be able to recognize everything. But let's go ahead and let's see what this sounds like. Um, let's make sure that we're saying read this um as if it's a dramatic movie trailer for a hollywood film <laughs> all right let's go ahead and let's see what happens here we're going to use you know what we're going to use my boy saddle tagger again because honestly produce some good shit i can't lie so let's click run right there and while it is generating guys i do have to say we do have a free community right here we're up to 784 members which is absolutely sick but if you do join the free community we've got a learner tab or a learn section right here as you can see it says all free pdf guides and prompts and we've got a bunch of different free resources and guides honestly it's actually insane that we're giving all this stuff out out for free i don't even know why um so honestly if you want free stuff let me make that a little bit louder because I think that, that was probably a bit quiet. In a world where legends are whispered, a new darkness is rising. One hero will stand against the tide, but some secrets are better left buried. The reckoning is here they literally perfect bro i i don't even know what else you could ask for from this software it's actually like the fact that it's free and unlimited genuinely is mind-blowing so let me know guys what do you actually plan on using this for because i got as you can see from this video there's so many different ways you can go with this um join the free community also i've got 30 minute consoles in the description and if you're a brand obviously and you want to work with me there'll be a link in the description as well that's pretty much it guys i'm out bye